Hi guys, another day, another look at this uh, candle. All we're going to try and do now is repair the battery box or replace the battery terminals and see if we can get it back together. Um, it does still work at the moment, but I'll be honest with you, it's stopped several times. It's where those copper tracks on the printed circuit board are just so degraded that any bit of movement and it all gives way and I have to get in there and solder it back in place you know move it back a little bit further so I don't know how practical this is to actually repair it but at the moment it's fine so we'll see if we can find some bits and do this That's quite annoying. All of these are the wrong way round. Because we need the tag coming through the bottom. But if I put them that way round, uh, the spring's on the wrong side. I suspect I could solder a bit of wire on the back. that put it in the right place. Well, actually, thinking about it, we don't need to access that point. That's just the midpoint. So we could probably get away with one of those that's upside down. No, we can't. Uh, or can we? Well, that is going to work. That is going to work. I thought we needed that loop the other way up, but it's going to it's going to fit. Take back what I said. That's going to fit in there. Do the job. But before I put it in there, I'll clean this out, give it a bit of a spray and try and get that corrosion out of there. Well, we've refurbished the battery box, looks quite nice in there, nice shiny metal. I found a on-off switch, the only thing is it's the button on it's much too long. Um, and also the little plastic pegs that should have held it in place were broken. So I've put screws through it and then I've covered the ends of the screws with hot glue to stop them sticking in anybody's finger. And a fair bit of hot glue on the back there as well to try and hold that in place. You might be able to see that comes on. So hopefully that switches it off. Yeah, that's good. On, off, and on, off. Okay, so that bit works. Now we've got to try and get that bit up inside of here with some hot glue around the top of it to hold it in place. I'm going to try and guide it through with this. I don't know whether I'll try filming it at the same time though, because it's probably going to go horribly wrong. Hmm. I just found this piece of wood 
fits up in there nicely. So can I do this? In theory, That's out. Lights off switch still works. Is this any particular way? I'm not sure if I want to hot glue that in place at the moment. I think we might leave it loose in case I have to get back in there. So, in position. Stop working. It was working right up until that last minute. Oh, I switched it off, that's why. Right, so it's working. Looks a little bit messy around the top there. And I really need to cut that on off switch, cut the top of it off. But I might just leave it as it is and maybe put some little spacers underneath to hold it up straight. So I just put that on there for now. Right, just there. So we can see the effect. Turn it around a bit. So, repaired for now. I'll turn the hot glue gun off before that goes all horrible. Yeah. I would say job done at the moment. Yeah. That took a long time. To make it stand up and clear the top of that switch, I've just given it little feet from made from hot glue just to space it away from the ground so that switch doesn't touch the ground. back in the fireplace with his two friends. Just what you always wanted, remote controlled candles.
So, job done. Thanks for watching. If you want more information, check down below in the video description. If you like this video, you might like this one up here. And if you want to subscribe, you can check out my channel over here. Up here is my latest video on my channel. And down here is a video playlist associated with the video you've just watched. Thanks again for watching.